In this video, I'll be talking about the reaction between copper 2 ions and iodide. Based on E0 cell values, this reaction is non-spontaneous, but it often occurs in the H2A level practical exam. So is it really non-spontaneous? Let's find out in this video. In this video, we'll take a look at this reaction between copper 2 ions and iodide. Okay, so during your practical, right, if you are to see a cream PPT in brown solution being formed, or you are going to add copper um, ions to potassium iodide, this is something that you might be expecting. Okay, and in fact, wherever you add it, you will get a cream PPT in brown solution. Okay, now let's take a look at the E0 values of these redox reactions. Okay, we know that copper 2 will form copper 1. Okay, and therefore this reaction, so copper 2 undergoes reduction to form copper 1. So Cu2 plus becomes Cu plus. And the E0 value for this reduction reaction is 0 0.15. Alright, then we have iodide forming iodine in this reaction. So the backward reaction occur here. So from I minus, it forms I2. So this is an oxidation reaction. And if we were to find the E0 cell value of this, we will take 0 0.15 minus 0 0.54. All right, and we get a negative value, right? Because 0 0.15 is smaller than 0 0.54. And we, in fact, we get negative 0 0.39 volts, which is lesser than zero. And based on what we understand is when the E0 cell is lesser than zero, the reaction is non-spontaneous. But why is it that we often see this reaction taking place during our practical, suggesting that it is actually spontaneous? Well, there are many reasons for this. So firstly, remember, these are E0 values. So whenever you have this naught, it suggests standard conditions of um, 298 Kelvin, or in other words, 25 degrees Celsius, okay, a pressure of 1 um, ATM, which doesn't really apply for this because we do not have any gas here, so it, it's not really relevant. Okay, and a concentration of one mole per dm cube for solution. So in other words, I minus has a, and I two has a concentration of one mole per dm cube, and Cu two plus and Cu plus have a concentration of one mole per dm cube. Now, if we were to conduct the reaction at room temperature, which is maybe twenty five degrees Celsius. Okay, this reaction still occurs, right? We still get the cream PPT in brown solution, although we have tried this in the lab many, many times. So what's actually happening? Well, the main reason for this occurring is because of non-standard conditions. And the main culprit is actually this cream PPT here. So if you think about it, right, what happens is this CuI will precipitate out when the reaction occurs. So in other words, right, it means that your copper ions, your copper 1 ion concentration is actually decreasing. Um, concentration of Cu plus decreases, okay, the position of the equilibrium will shift to the right okay, to counteract the decrease in Cu plus. So the E value of the actual reaction is actually higher than 0 0.15. Okay? So remember, E0 is at standard conditions, but actually the reaction doesn't take place at standard conditions because of the precipitation of the copper 1 ions, okay? so which causes the decrease in the concentration of Cu plus and the position of equilibrium will shift to the right to counteract this decrease. So you'll have more Cu2 plus forming Cu plus. Okay? And therefore, your E value of this reaction actually increases to such a way that right, it is likely to be um, bigger than 0.15 or it will increase such that the E0 cells becomes more than zero and the reaction is spontaneous. All right? So in actual fact, this reaction is spontaneous, okay? And why is it spontaneous although E0 cell is lesser than zero? Well, that is because it is occurring at non-standard conditions and the main culprit is actually due to the precipitation of the um, CUI precipitate. 